Welcome, in front of me I have the iPhone 16 Pro Max and today I will show you how we can boot this device into the recovery mode. Now for this you'll need a computer and I'll be using Mac which you can just vaguely see here on the camera uh, and you will also need to use the provided cable that is in the box, the braided one specifically. Now even though iPhone uh, and or European Union forced Apple to use USB-C, they went out of their way to make it not accessible for like recovery mode and DFU mode. It works for everything else so if you want to copy data and stuff like that normal type-c will work just fine uh, but for dfu and recovery mode you need to use this crappy cable or you just won't be able to boot into this mode so if you are struggling to actually boot into it that was probably the problem you not using the correct cable now um apart from that uh, i will be using mac for the sole reason that this is the only device uh, here that i have that has type-c port on it so i can actually connect the cable uh, typically, I would be using Windows for this, but the Windows computer that I have right here only has USB-A ports, and like I mentioned before, those don't really work. So, with that out of the way, let's get started. We're going to simply plug in cable to our device. And once you have done so, to enter recovery mode, it's very simple. All you're going to do is press volume up, then volume down, and then you're going to hold the power button. So, up, down, power. And you want to hold power button as long as it takes for the device to boot into the recovery mode. Now also mentioned that the problem with the cable, if you have a wrong one, you'll see that Apple logo will show up shortly. And with the wrong cable, it's going to disappear after a moment and then show up again, disappear again, show up again, and so on. With the right cable, it stays and then you'll get this right after. So this is our recovery mode. And if you were to open up your computer, it will show up as uh, iPhone in recovery mode, which uh, obviously shows up correctly. Uh, additionally, I want to point out that Apple finally, at least on I Apple side, Mac, at least as far as I checked, has finally uh, made a separation between the recovery mode and DFU mode. So both of them are now uh, named in the computer side correctly before both of them were showing up i think as dfu mode or recovery mode one or the other now anyway once you're done with the recovery mode typically uh, whatever you needed it for uh, whatever that was would put the device out of the recovery mode uh, but maybe you change your mind and you want to leave this mode then to do so you're going to press volume up down and hold power button once more and this will then reboot the device so once the screen turns off you can let go of the power button It looks like we need to hold it again to actually turn on the device. So let's do that. There we go. And as you can see, we are now back in our iOS. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.